Welcome to our Kubernetes tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when managing their clusters. Our viewer wants to know, what should I do with pods after adding a node to the Kubernetes cluster? They're looking for a way to achieve a semi-even distribution of pods across nodes without getting into the complexities of affinity rules. So, let's explore how to effectively redistribute pods and ensure optimal resource utilization in your Kubernetes environment. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. After adding a new node to your Kubernetes cluster, the first step is to understand how Kubernetes schedules pods. By default, Kubernetes will try to evenly distribute pods across available nodes. To achieve a semi-even distribution of your application pods, you can manually delete some of the existing pods. This will prompt Kubernetes to reschedule them, potentially on the newly added node. If you want to ensure that the number of pods matches the number of nodes, consider using a feature called Replica Sets. This allows you to define the desired number of replicas for your application. In your specific case with Juju on AWS, after restarting the worker node, you may need to delete the pods again to encourage rescheduling. Monitor the pods using kubectl get pods to see where they are running. Lastly, ensure that your ingress controller is properly configured to handle traffic to the new pods. This may involve updating your ingress rules if necessary. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To redistribute pods after adding a node in Kubernetes, consider using the descheduler, a helpful tool from the Kubernetes incubator. Kubernetes clusters are dynamic, and there are several reasons to move running pods. Pods may need to be relocated due to under or overutilization of nodes, changes in scheduling criteria, or when new nodes are added to the cluster. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When you add a new node in Kubernetes, pods are automatically redistributed. You can also manually trigger redistribution by deleting specific pods, especially if you have a host-based anti-affinity policy. Over time, Kubernetes will prefer the new node for scheduling, leading to redistribution. Consider why you might want to manually trigger redistribution. It could be for optimizing resource usage or balancing workloads more effectively across your nodes. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Let's <laughs>